Fellows, many years ago, I put out a post called Five Senses Exposé. And today I'm going to talk about that and share that post with uh, the majority of you. So let's start with building an emotional connection. And in this post, I taught how to build a connection to one using their five senses. And you want to start with building an emotional connection. It is my belief that in order to build this connection, you've got to access a woman's five senses. The first sense we want to look at is the sense of sound through use of words to penetrate her brain. This is why I was so hesitant on bringing out anything on texting because I knew that weaker men would gravitate to it. I said all the way through my advertising of that program and all the way through the program that weaker men will gravitate towards, towards texting. Because they're afraid to call a girl. But sound, use of words, will penetrate her brain. Secondly, sight. That's by looking good, dressing good, wearing the right colors that make you stand out. I just saw an excellent example of that in an actress coming out of Hollywood uh, last night. She had green eyes and she was wearing a certain green type of... I go to see her from the, the practically the neck up. But... Whatever green thick top she was wearing made her eyes pop. And that's everything that, that my girlfriend Jovina has been talking about. If you're a Caucasian, you have different colored eyes. You can wear clothes that will make your eyes really stand out. Number three is by smell. you got to learn to take a bath and clean yourself. Because women have a very, very sensitive nose. They can smell. They can actually smell the man who's the right mate for them. That's how sensitive their nose are or noses are. I just read, in fact, um, another article on that, that women's sense of smell, as I said, is so acute they can actually smell the men for correct DNA matches. That's how finite it gets, for correct DNA matches. How many times have you heard a woman say, he just smelled good? Now let's look at touch. You want to access her, sorry, access her through a sense of touch. Your touch, her touch, what is she touching? You got to know how to touch them right to stimulate their intense desires. Number five is taste. Yeah, I know we always told we got to wine and dine one, but there's a reason for that. Sometimes you got to stimulate that taste bud also. When you combine as many, especially sound, you gain or you can gain access into the deeper regions of a woman's mind. And I took out the word bitches. <laughs> Let's just say women. Women go over on overload and don't know what hit them when you do that. Okay? So when you combine all those different access points, they go on overload. Think about how the serpent whispered in Eve's ear in the fable or the the whole story of the Bible and made her look at the apple and then smell it and then touch it and finally the, the deal breaker taste it if you can see the game in that then you're on your way brothers see women's ear you can use a woman's ear to create desire through sound so as you lean in close, you're gonna you want to smell good, right? And I used to use vanilla oil that smelled like cookies and cream, which most women love. I don't take chances on that. You know, I don't use colognes. So you you catch your eye by looking good. Then you lean in. You talk. You sound good. You 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 do your voice the right way. And I'm coming out with a program that I used to use for my acting class and my public speaking. So that when you go on your first date, you have something to do while you're on the way there. Okay? You're going to do what's called a pre-date warm-up. It's what I used to do. I, I just totally forgot about it. I did it before every aerobics class, every fitness class I ever taught. Every time I before I went to the gym to teach, to work with clients. Every time I, I did any type of public speaking. And I totally forgot about it. And I, I started doing it before I went on my internet dates. But it was such an ingrained habit of, of mine that I just forgot about it. But it's a basically a vocal warm-up. Real simple to do, real easy to do. I'll teach you guys how to do it. 
and also a facial warmer. So when you get there, you're you're more fluid. Your voice sounds more. You can make your voice sound more sensual and sexual. So you use all that to attract attention, like the sight. And as I would lean in close to them and casually touch them while talking to their earlobes, which would stimulate them. That's how I was able to get creative traction in women. Now remember, trying to sit still in the barber chair when he got near your ear and it kind of tickled. Do you remember that? That's the sensation you get when you come in close to talk into a woman's ear. It kind of, it, with the right pitch, it tickles them. Now how's that for a start? Now let me give you an example of words. I sent this email out. I think my other email got lost with this new AOL 9.0. That's how long ago this was. But I want to say that I had fun last night with you. Your level of passion was a nice opening to our friendship. Of course, I had sex with a girl. But anyway, continuing. You have a level that needs to be tapped and tapped deep. I was thinking and remembering lying on top of you thrusting and touching you down there. Now I want you to remember that women are the highest buyers of books in the world. And that genre of books they buy that comprise the highest are romance, romance novellas. Okay? Romance novels. So they love these kind of words. Not dirty, slutty kind of words, but just on the edge, the biting edge. Thrusting and touching you down there, remembering your moans, the touch of your tongue, your smell, the feeling of your skin sliding against mine, holding you in my arms, you're submitting to my strength, being a woman under me. Now, being a woman, that's a powerful word, and then under me, more powerful words. I'm writing to a submissive type of woman. And I know those words trigger her mind. I knew the woman I was writing to. I didn't just say this to just to any girl. I didn't just go on the internet and pick out a girl. No, this is someone that I actually had sex with. Okay? I seduced her. I knew her. A lot of the mistakes a lot of guys make when they try to write this type of stuff is they send out to everybody. And there are certain minds, women who have no imagination. I look for women that have an imagination, okay? When they have an imagination, these words will build and become powerful in their minds. So being a woman under me, your hands touching my body and finding pleasure, soft lips, soft tongue, willingness, deep, penetrating, thrusting, reaching, Powerful word, reaching and becoming. These are the words I wrote. The feeling or feeling the flesh of your ass and, and hips. She had nice ass and hips, the fellas. The softness there. Delicious, baby. Very delicious. Think of what this going off in her mind now. She's now reliving what happened to us that night, last night, okay? I'm, I'm inside of her mind, and I'm recreating the, the image and the imagery and the power and the passion. I'm steering it up. Now, I received this one back. Hey, how's it going? I received your emails, and I tried to reply back, but they got returned. Sorry for calling you so many times this weekend. Like I'm, she was blowing the phone up. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure when you were going to be back. I really enjoy reading your emails. Of course she does. I make my emails enjoyable with imagery and words like that. They were very poetic and descriptive to say the least. Now this girl, I believe she was a school teacher. I'm not sure if this is the right one. I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon. I hope the feeling is mutual. By the way, you can send emails to this address if you want. And I took out the address. Okay, she wants to keep reading. <laughs> I check this one every day, and my Hotmail account gets checked when I get the chance. 
I'll probably give you a call around 6 this evening if that's okay. Talk to you later. Have a good day. Words, my friends, can be used to reach the other senses too. But you got to use descriptive words. Words that e emote imagery and feeling. Now I took this one from an old file. And if you need any further proof of the value of language, listen to these lines from American writer Myrna Manns. All really great lovers are articulate and verbal seduction is the surest route to actual seduction. Sorry about that screen there. If you want to see a brilliant example of seductive language, get a hold of a copy of the 1995 Jeremy Levine movie Don Juan de Marco. There's a scene near the start which is just about the most inspiring thing you'll ever come across. The leader, uh, leading character played by Johnny Depp walks up to an attractive woman sitting alone in a restaurant. So this, uh, this author is saying he introduces himself. At first she's a little hesitant to get involved and tells him she's waiting for her partner. He sits down anyway and begins talking to her. Okay, He starts talking to her those in the movie, telling her that he won't take a moment. He soon takes her hand and holding it before him begins to tell her how certain women have fingers with the same sensitivity as their legs. She's intrigued. Then in the most hypnotically seductive voice, he continues. The fingertips are the same feelings as their feet. And when you touch their knuckles, it is like passing hands around their knees. He's building imagery. Think about touching the feet. She's Im imagining that. And then around her knees. And he goes on. And this tender, fleshy part of the finger, the same as brushing your hand around their thighs. So she's ima now imagining hands brushing around her thighs. And finally, he says and softly kisses her upper knuckles with obvious implications. By now, the woman is gripping the tablecloth in a state of intense arousal. The next scene, quite believably, shows him hard at it in bed. Okay? So, is that all there is to it? Not exactly. You have to make your words work for you. You got to make your words work for you. And there are three things that will guarantee your success in this area. Number one, you have to believe in what you're saying unreservedly. Okay, that's why I, I like to delve into imagery that her and I have done together. Versus, versus that those guys that try to do what I call mind fucking and they, they do it from the third person or second person. I do it from first person. Okay. First person. And I, I do it from my inner beliefs, my inner who I am as a man. So this calls for total confidence and also total commitment. Okay. If you back off or have any hints of uncertainty, you'll blow it. She'll recognize your hesitation. Women and women are experts at this and deduce that you're really a wimp in wolf's clothing. And I'm referring to when you're trying to say it to her, you know, while you're, you're, while you're mind fucking or making love to her. So you must take command and follow through no matter what happens. No matter what happens. Number two, number two, when you do this verbally, you want to speak in a voice that is absolutely dripping with sensuality, the touch of your skin, your lips. And so I lowered my voice down almost to a whisper because I would talk into a girl's ear that way. Okay, very low, very slow, very sensual. Okay. Does that make sense, fellas? So when we do this, Women get a charge out of it. Okay. You can't dribble these words out in a flat, lifeless tone. And I was listening to someone's um, um, vocal stuff, and I noticed that flat tone in there, which I was 
just now I'm reminding myself that I got to go in and help him clean it up. Even the words baby girl has to have emotion in it. Not baby girl. But baby girl. Say it as if you're almost breathless, you know. As if you're about to bust a nut too. Baby girl. See that? That's more powerful than baby girl. Now, you must make every word or sound, every word sound like what it means. Every word. By. Breast. Make every word sound like what it means. When you say pleasure, it should it's got to feel like pleasure. Pleasure. Luckily, I took acting classes, so I learned how to do all this vocal stuff many years ago. When you say feverish, rush, it ought to send shivers up your spine, fellas. Number three, you must pay total attention to her nonverbal signals, which is her body language and her facial expressions, and use these as homing beacons to guide you in. And she'll let you know. She'll let you know. She honestly will. So long as you just pay attention. Okay? She'll let you know when you're on the right path. Just pay attention. Do these things with your evocative language, and you're almost virtually guaranteed to win any woman you want that is in an absolute minimum of time because women do long for a good seduction. They love a good seduction. It feels good to a woman to be seduced, is what I'm saying. Now, that's not all women. Let me recorrect that. That's not all women. It's not any woman. It's some women. And I found the original lost email. I don't recommend sensitive types of men reading this kind of, or nerdy types reading this kind of corny shit, but it works, fellas. And yeah, it's corny, but she admitted to reading it, it many times over. In fact, she read both of the mind bomb emails several times over and still looks at them on her cell phone. Okay? That's how powerful my emails were. And back then, I was like, dang, technology is amazing. You can actually access the internet and get your emails from a cell phone. This is when smartphones first started coming out. But here we go. You're quite a surprise to me, Jay. Your passion was wonderful to taste. Your kisses igniting. You steered a passion deep inside of me, baby girl. I was amazed at your capacity to receive pleasure. Remember when I put my finger down there while I was talking to you? See, I'm taking her mind back to when I put my finger down there between her legs. A little honey pot down there, fellas. Our lips kissing so hard and strong. I love to kiss powerfully. That's my favorite thing. I just love kissing. Kissing, for me, kissing, I actually do get off, fellas. It says it on my internet profile. You know, I can actually, I got to kiss in order to get off. If I'm not kissing a girl, I, can, I can't get off. That's the way it is for me. Kissing is very powerful to me. I'm a, I'm a right brain. I'm a, what is that? E-N-F-P? Feeling perceptive? Yeah. That, that does it for me. I'm glad, I'm so glad I'm not, no offense to you, more robotic types that, you know, okay, it's 12 minutes into it, one more kiss. Ah. I, I get passionate from kissing, but anyway, our lips kissing so hard and strong, our tongues intertwined. She's now having flashbacks. I'm deep inside of her mind now, tasting each other. My hands on your hips, thrusting, reaching. I can still feel it. And making me throb again. You accepted my control like a real woman. A woman who knows how to bend to a man's strength. To receive each moment of pleasure. This is how I wrote it. I wrote it down. Okay, I wrote a, lot, a word here, a word here, 
a couple words here. I wrote it down so that she didn't have to read all the way across the page, but it was narrow focus all the way down. You can see my mouse. Okay. I like that. Here are some words to, uh, here's, we're done. Here are some words to think about and feel from Heather Hadley. He is. These are words I sent her, by the way. Mind injector. Heart protector. Don't think these words don't hit a woman's cranium inside, deep inside of her head and heart. The words from that song I learned were powerful because it, it, it affected me. I'm one of those types that kind of, I guess I'm kind of on the feminine side when it comes to stuff like that. That's why I can tap into women's femininity because I can feel the words of songs. Heart protector. Soul defender of anything I feel. That's her song, her words. That's what women crave. That kind of man to come in and dominate and, and protect her. Baby conceiver, because women with an, don't have babies, they're programmed to have babies. A make me a believer. A man that comes in as a leader, okay? He's a leader. And, and he gets her involved in his, his projects. And she becomes a believer in him. That yes, baby, you can do it. Yes, baby, you could become the president of the United States. Yes, baby, you could do it. Don't think, think Miss Obama did not say that. Oops, I missed, skipped one, but joy bringer, it flashed by too fast. Uh, love giver, these are things that women crave. Joy, love. Dough increaser, a man that can make it. A man that can make it, think about it. I said these words to, to the girl, these exact same words. I cut them out the song, I listened to the song, I wrote them down, I sent them to her in my email. This is still part of the same email. The pleasure releaser, the night school teacher. The good life preacher, the caretaker, the kiss craver, that's me. I will keep this email short since I have to go see my son in a few minutes. Yeah, that was a short law. <laughs> Until next time, I said. And at the time I wrote this, you know, I was dealing with a lot of the uh, real left brain types. So you know, it might be kind of corny though. I used bulleted periods periods to cause her eye to stop and feel what I'm saying. So as I wrote as I wrote the words, I would go dot 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 ellipses I think they're called. So she would pause and feel every one. So dot 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 after let's say thrusting dot 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 lifting you and I up dot dot dot. Okay. I don't know if it's back then I wrote this. I don't know if my technique's perfect, but I do get good results. My stuff isn't vulgar since I am making comments on stuff that has already happened. That's the deepest mind fucking you can do. Is after you had sex with her for the first time, start to send her mind fucking emails and messages and texts. That was just remembering last night. Ah, that was amazing. Make her feel good about it. Because a lot of girls, they feel bad about giving it up. But no, make her feel good. Make her feel proud so she'll want to even try harder next time. That's how you get a girl on your team. You don't just ignore her. That's what the nerds teach. Nerds don't know how to do women right. Nerds don't know how to break a woman down and put her on the team. Okay? Take it from a real player that knows and has done this stuff. If we had only kissed then, I would have talked about that kiss and how it felt to me. Okay? If we had only just kissed, I could have used that. Now, let's say you didn't, she only got a good night, good night kiss. You could use that. You could talk about how magical the evening was sitting there with her. Even though she may not have felt that way, you may have felt that way, you can still bring it into there. And she can actually, maybe it was magical. Slowly hip, slowly hypnotize her thinking it was magical. And then the kiss. That would make her want to crave more of it. Think about it. Guys don't say this shit. Women have to read books to hear this stuff. You get it? 
Nobody communicates to women like this. And if I were in the game, that's the only way I would talk to a female, as I used to. By relaying and getting her to relive the experience, she is now becoming enthralled with me through use of just my words. Someone said this stuff was speed seduction. Uh, that I didn't know at the time. But there was a book I did recommend that was out called The Sexual Key. Now, I don't use their style of word for word. They talk from third person. I teach talk from the first person because I found it to be very powerful. And plus, that's the kind of man I am. I'm direct. I'm not afraid to step up and say the words. I'm not going to sit back and write some weak ass shit. Imagine you laying down on the bed. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in the first person. I want to lay you down on the bed, baby. Okay? Because that has the most power, the most juice. And I'm not afraid to use it. So I adopted some of their stuff. But I actually learned how to do this stuff back in my early 30s when I first started. I was kind of surprised when I got on the internet and there was something out called uh, The Sexual Key. I recommend that book for for uh, getting just some ideas. Someone sent me a copy of it when I got on the internet, and uh, I looked over it, and it, it was similar to what I did, what I was doing. So I, I read I read just a little bit of it, but I like talking from the first person. I just couldn't get into the whole thing. It wasn't my style. I suggest, as I said earlier, you guys do the same thing. And talk from the first person and put power into it so you can sweep her off her feet so, so that she will wear your sign saying property of. Now you can begin to see why I've been able to get girls to wear my sign. Okay, imagine me saying these words while we're having sex. Stuff like this. That's what the haters and the nerds truly don't get because they live in robotic lives. They have robotic sex, whereas I have deep emotional sex or used to. As you guys know, Mike, I don't do that with Jovina because I was so tired of the game, so burned out when my little brother died. And plus, I just got out of a, you know, another relationship where I had, you know, of course, did my thing and got caught. So I said, no more player shit. I'm going to be like a square. And now, I actually, I feel ready to get jump back in that game again, but I'm just too old. Oh, well, that's life. Peace, fellas.